Okay, so for the installation of the axle braces, this is how it's supposed to mount. So you have a bolt, it's supposed to go in that hole. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna prep this area, grind it off, and then you're gonna weld these tabs, both of them, to the outside of this axle and try to center it up. Now, when you go to weld these tabs, okay, you're gonna have to have something in between it. So what I recommend, so you don't ruin the, uh, the hind joint with some heat, is just get you a nut that's about the same width and a bolt and put it through so whenever you go to start welding it that the tabs don't start closing in on each other so you can't get the bar in but for this end the bolt is too big for the hole that's there already so what you gotta do is get a drill bit and drill that out and for the correct size you're gonna be using about a half inch drill bit All right, we're through. It's probably a little hot. Okay, as you can see, perfect size. Now, next step is going to be welding on the tabs to the outside of the axle. Now, remember what I was saying earlier about some companies have a longer uh, brace to where the tabs end up inside the stock location for the uh, for the lower control arms. Here's a picture of one of them. So UPR has a slightly shorter bar that it gets right to the outside. Now, if I was to put it in here, like some other companies do, if I was to run a full size spring, this would contact the spring, these tabs would, and so would this heim joint. So what I had to do is I had to go get me a smaller diameter spring to run here because as it extends, the spring gets closer and closer to the tabs until they contact. So I run the UPR bar because it's a little bit shorter and I can put it right here. So now let's get this area prepped for welding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it all the way, okay? I'm gonna kind of find the center of this tube somewhere and mark it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unwind it about a turn and then mark my location and then weld these in place, these tabs, and then I can start putting tension on it by tightening it back up. And once I got tension on this and the tube, then it's all braced and set. So, and I can do the same thing to the other side, but I'm only gonna show you one side because I'm not gonna board you with two of them. Now, I'm not a welder or a fabricator by any means. So some of you watching this are gonna watch me be an amateur at it. Cause I don't weld that good, but I will be able to say that I put this car together myself. So as you can see, Put another on the bottom, spacer in between, because once I start to weld this, it's gonna end up wanting to pull itself to each other. And I don't want that gap to be closed where I can't get the bar in. <coughs> All right, so now that we got the tabs welded up, got Heath here, just kind of helped me hold this bar. Went ahead and prepped for this Team Z brace. Um, I had to do a little bit of trimming, but we got a little bit of a gap to fill because these are a little bit angled to fit down in here, but um, it should fit pretty nice. So this is the one that goes over the top of the chunk. And then we got a little tab here. Might have to do a little shaving on, but it's supposed to go right there, but we'll get that synced up. But we'll get all this welded up real quick. So what Heath is doing here is he is preheating the cast iron center section on the 88 housing. Cast iron does not like rapid changes in temperature. So what you do is you take a torch if it's available to you and you preheat the housing and bring it up to temperature before you start welding on it. Because if it heats up too quick or cools down too quick, it will crack the housing. So after you get done running your bead of weld, just let it cool down naturally. Wait about a minute 
and hit it with small doses of flame to keep heat in it but gradually let it keep dropping in heat because if you let it cool down too fast then it has a risk of cracking the housing all right so this is what it looks like not bad for a little amateur hour this side looked good this side i had a gap fill so let's just hide that side um i got the uh brace on top tacked all that together so over here so i got the uh tabs for the axle braces all together I'm trying to rotate this without messing it up um but i'm not a welder or a fabricator but it is good experience to try to learn how to do it yourself as you can see here but uh yeah so these you will put tension on them to push out in any ways to brace the axle and this is just a brace on the so this this is upside down right now this is uh for bracing uh so you don't you know do a watermelon shape axle on the launch because all the weight will be pushed on this but i'm going to call it quits right here but this is how you brace your axle uh, the next step i will probably be doing will be cutting these stock location brackets and welding on those racecraft uh relocation brackets so i can run the bars lower it is like midnight i have somewhat of an axle uh put together and i'm gonna end it right here and the next video i will have relocation brackets because we'll be cutting those and then fabbing those on there but thanks for watching guys